Hello everybody, Evan Lazar for CLNS Media coming to you from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, breaking down the top 50 fits in the NFL draft for your New England Patriots. You can check out my Patriots big board on clnsmedia.com. That ranks my favorite prospects for the Pats one through 50. In these videos, we're gonna go position by position. And in this video, a key position to talk about for the Patriots heading into this draft, it's cornerback. And after JC Jackson left in free agency, the Patriots parted ways last season with Stephon Gilmore. Certainly a big area of need for the Patriots in this draft. You could see as early as the first round, the Patriots select the corner. So let's talk about cornerbacks. Let's go in the first round. There are a couple of options here for the Patriots at the top of the draft. I think the Washington CBs, Trent McDuffie and Kyler Gordon, maybe Gordon a little bit later if a trade back were to happen, are options. But I want to talk about Andrew Booth Jr. from Clemson. When I watch Andrew Booth Jr. play, I see an explosive playmaker. He reminds me a lot of Jair Alexander coming out of Louisville. Maybe not the most technically sound in press man coverage yet. He doesn't quite have the reps in press man as some of the other guys we're going to talk about in this video. But I really love Boost's explosiveness, the way that he attacks the football in the flats too. You throw a screen to his side, you run to his side. He is coming downhill with force to separate the player or make the tackle immediately. I don't think there's anybody on tape out of this cornerback class that attacks screens to his side of the field quite like Andrew Booth Jr. does. And you look down the field and his ball skills are terrific. He makes leaping pass breakups, leaping interceptions, one-handed interceptions down the field. Just really good playmaker at that outside cornerback spot at Clemson under Venables. Played a lot of match coverage, played a lot of trap coverage. Venables loves to spin the dial, is a very exotic schemer on defense. So they ran more what people would typically call traditional zone coverage. But I think the Patriots have gone a little bit towards that anyways. And when I watch Booth play press man, I think his technique is actually pretty darn good. I think he's underrated in that vein as well. Scheme versatile. That's what I'm getting at. Can play zone, can play man, can make plays on the football. Andrew Booth Jr. out of Clemson is one of my favorite prospects in this entire draft. Draft. Not just Patriots specific, but in the entire draft, I would go Andrew Booth Jr. over a lot of other guys in this draft for the Patriots. The next corner I want to talk about, we saw the 4-3-9 at the 40-yard dash in the, in the combine in Indianapolis. That really solidified Kair Elam from Florida as one of the top corners or top five guys in this draft class. A physical alpha dog on the outside. If the Patriots plan on playing as much press man as they have in that Gilmore JC Jackson era. Kair Elam checks that box as just a dude that loves to crowd the line of scrimmage, jam in press man, be physical with his receiver across from him, and really just makes you feel him. Bump and run coverage to a T with Kair Elam. I think that he has some pretty good ball skills, good length, certainly good long speed as we saw in the 40 yard dash to stay attached to verticals down the field. Not the smooth this at the top of the route that's what drops him down the board a little bit for me the hip transitions they stall a little bit his footwork isn't as efficient as you'd like to see at the break point gets a little bit loose there at the top of the route against guys that can change directions on him but if you're looking for somebody to play the outside to bang against x receivers go up against the big bodied guys Kair Ilum certainly checks that box for the Patriots a little bit later on in the draft now we're talking about round two round three for New England and wouldn't surprise me at all if Bill Belichick reaches on this guy, though, in the second round. Zion McCollum from Sam Houston State. Get this. Out of over 1,100 cornerback prospects in the NFL database, 1,100, nobody tested better than Zion McCollum from Sam Houston. How did this guy get to Sam Houston and not Alabama or Georgia or Ohio State? I couldn't tell you. But Zion McCollum went out there in Indianapolis, ran a 4-3-3 in the 40-yard dash at 6 foot 2, 200 pounds, a 6.48 second three cone drill. The Patriots like the three cone with the skill positions, the agility testing. Zion McCollum hit it out of the park, a 39 and a half inch vertical, elite, elite, elite athletic ability, 13 career interceptions at Sam Houston, uses that length at six foot two and athleticism to be a physical press man corner on the outside, mirror routes 
Pitts make plays on the football. He was a ball hawk for Sam Houston, along with the fact that he could really go out there and shut guys down. Also accepted an invite to the Senior Bowl. The Patriots saw him down there and Mobile. Although he's a corner, not a safety, Zion McCollum reminds me of the Kyle Duggar of this draft. Somebody that tested through the roof, has great tape at his level of competition, and just checks a ton of boxes for the Patriots. Maybe not a day one insert starter, plug and play type of guy. Might take some time to develop, some time to adjust to the level of competition, but I could see the Patriots falling in love with Zion McCollum. Certainly an outside corner that fits the bill for New England. I had a bunch of corners on my Patriots big board. I believe there were 10 of them. So you can go ahead and check out on clnsmedia.com, the countdown one through 50, my Patriots big board, the top 50 fits in the 2022 NFL draft. A lot more names at the cornerback position there, but those are some that were highlighted here because they really stood out to me in film review, and I think they're really good Patriots fits in this 2022 NFL draft. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching, everybody.